Hey guys, it's Lars. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, like roughly a year, but <laughs> I'm not gonna go into detail on that now, maybe at some point in the future in some video, who knows, but today I wanna focus on something that's dear to my heart and that's Hollyoaks. I'm a totally Oakster fan girl boy. They came out with a new trailer on Monday and I'm filming this on Thursday. Considering how active Hollyoaks are on their social media platforms, all of them, I'm kind of impressed at how I didn't get spoiled. Before I start watching it though, I want to address a few things. We have to consider the New Year's Flash Forward episode, so like a few things that kind of lead up to that might be exposed in that trailer, so I'm really looking forward to connecting dots. I am not 100% sure I remember exactly all the details from the flash forwards from New Year's. We've seen like progression of some storylines over a year or like the outcome of some storylines over a year but not what happens exactly. And also there's a death in the village. Well we can kind of detect from who is still in those scenes and being shocked by that death, um, we don't know exactly who it is. <laughs> Maybe this trailer will give us some clues about that. And also, recently they had this coming out storyline for Juliet. She just came out to Sid in an episode and in the flash forward we know that she's kind of sort of getting together with Perry, so that's kind of cute. Maybe we get some more of that in the trailer. Juliet is also involved in this county line storyline about drugs and youth and stuff, so I'm not very knowledgeable about, to be honest. And then we have a storyline on Darren and Kyle's depression. Would that be plural? They both have depression. Darren just recently went up to a rooftop planning to jump, but didn't, so. But yeah, okay, I think it's time. Let's watch it. <laughs> okay, Beach, I think we've already seen those scenes. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. I'm so stupid. Before you drag me, I am purposefully not subscribed to to Hollyoaks in order not to get spoiled all the time. Also, I love this banner. Is Sinead actually ever coming back? Stephanie Davis doesn't make it look like it. <laughs> um, okay, trailer. Okay, yeah, we've seen that. That's, that's happened this week. Oh. Oh yeah, the, okay, I've already talked about that, the suicide. They're doing a gender reveal. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of gender reveals, to be honest. I love Mercedes and Silver being back together. Oh, it's gonna be a girl. I'm, I'm not a big fan of gender reveals. Oh yeah, that drug trafficking thing. I assume that must be Jordan's boss. Marnie found the money from the latest drug deal that Julia and Sid did in wherever they went. Don't think she's gonna be happy about it. No. Lisa, you're better than that. Although she has a streak kind of getting together with the toxic guys. <laughs> Guess she has a type. Looking at the viewfinder tool side note, this mirror thing that I that has hangers on the back is the same um, piece that is in Darren and Mandy's flat in the hallway. It's a little fun fact. I didn't buy it because of that. I bought it because it's nice, but... But Lisa and Felix, that's not good. And Felix, we've been new that he've been dodgy and selling them kids, so... I'm sorry. I'm planning a surprise party to renew our wedding vows. Oh! Her eighth wedding. Oh, 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 man, you so, that's cute, oh my, okay, I love that. I don't need a love interest, oh. I am very happy <gasps> with the way things are. Do you no. think Dizzy boys are girls? I am so sorry, don't do anything stupid. Dizzy, that coming, not gonna be honest. Wait, what, not gonna lie. Huh, <laughs> didn't see that coming. His next question's really coming home. Two hour health. He's healthy. Oh. oh. Ah, okay, because in the flash forward we had, uh, we had the scene where they found drugs and Charlie's stuff and I was wondering how did that happen, but <laughs> here we go. Oh no, don't make out with your daughter's boyfriend. Seriously, if Breeder was still around, Edward would be his first victim, absolutely. Your daughter. Completely normal, really. Wait, what? 
I'm, I'm surprised. I didn't think of him as a... Hmm? I originally had high hopes that when Steve returns, which he will eventually, I assumed that he was gonna get together with Liam, but Liam just died, so uh, I guess that's not gonna happen. But if John Paul is getting together with DS Kiss, whose first name I forgot, DS Kiss, I mean seriously, that means that James is free to get together with Steve, which is a ship I've been thinking about for quite a while, <laughs> to be honest, so <laughs> interesting. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, what? The way that they cut that. Imagine Charlie supplying to Kyle. We need to focus on you and how to get through this. You have a brain tumor. Wait, what? Thinking about the baby. Don't think that's real. <gasps> no. Warren and. Wait, what? No. I thought that ship has sunk. I need this place. Please let me be better. I want to be better. We'll always live here. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. But I wanted to mention to talk about Sid. He's pressured into dealing drugs by his cousin. So. Poor lad. Oh, we get. Oh, you. Triangle. So Kyle is not coming out as depressed. That's kind of weird. Okay, hold on. I'm really scared that there's gonna be a suicide, and it's gonna be Kyle or Darren, and I don't want either to die. Let's hope it stays in the tent. But it would be storytelling wise and education wise, it would be really, really cool to see that unfolding and how that happens. It would be good to have a comparison like one situation where it goes well, where he's getting help and treated, which I assume would be Darren, and then Kyle not getting any support or like not being even able to open up about it. I should probably do an entire video on that. I wanted to do a video on the don't filter feelings hashtag for a while now. And the hashtag has been around for a few years, considering that mental health storylines on the show. So, mm. would that be something anyone's interested in? Something, right? You're not just using me or anything. Don't be with Leela. Um, please don't turn it back on me. Sorry, I have to. You're doing for no one. Wait, what? You are gonna ruin it. Never forget what they did to us. What did Felix think was gonna happen to us? We all suffered because of him. Again, Lisa and Felix, that's weird. But like, Celeste, Toby and Mitchell kind of getting together to do something against... Or maybe that refers back to the, we're arresting you for the wounding that person on purpose. I forgot the phrasing. <laughs> maybe that's Felix and Celeste and Toby did it, but... Oh my word. Tony's coming back. We're not oh yeah, because oh, oh okay, okay, okay. That's like something else. Because of quarantine, the they're only airing two to three episodes a week, and for the other days where they have like old episodes, like highlight episodes that they re-air. It's kind of nice. Cancer. Oh little Tom. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was a trip. They didn't have Stee in the Stee's Return. Although I'm not sure that they filmed Stee's Return before they stopped filming, before they stopped production. I, I kind of miss I miss Stee. That storyline that will also be really exciting to see how it continues. Completely different, different off topic. I'm really really excited about. Well, excited maybe not. But like I'm looking for it's also kind of weird the depression storyline and if they turn their backs on Kyle I don't understand or maybe because of the drug use that's really complicated I'm really really scared that they're gonna drive Kyle to commit suicide and that, that Kyle is the body in the final scene in the flash forward New Year's
Oh boy. If you want to see the full trailer, I'll link it below. Catch up on Holly Oaks. If you haven't watched it yet, do so. It's really, really exciting. It's really, really nice. It's a soap opera and it's really, really well made. Which I've done presentations in school and I might write a paper about. Maybe I should do a video essay on that. What are your thoughts on the trailer and what's going to happen? Let me know down below, especially with the depression storyline and the county lines. Talk. And my other question, would you be interested in me covering like more in-depth things on don't filter feelings? Because I've had a lot of don't filter feelings, mental health storylines, um, with cutting, with depression, with attempted suicides, oh. eating disorder, yeah, domestic violence with rape, all those fun things. Um, there's the like button, you could also just press it. And if you're interested in seeing me more often and I intend to fully, honestly, actually, to post more, <laughs> uh, more regularly, more frequently. There's also the option to subscribe to this channel. I've reacted to past Hollyoaks trailers. Maybe it would be interesting to revisit those and see how on point my speculations were. <laughs> uh, see you soon. Don't have an outro yet. Bye, I guess. <laughs> Do 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 do.